Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Albino Ranks All the Waifus in Danganronpa 2 from Worst to Best. Unlike the first game where we were spoiled for choice with great waifu material, Goodbye Despair might as well be called Goodbye Happily Ever After because most of these girls are intolerable. We'll do what we can, but expect some roasts. Major spoilers abound, of course, starting from 8 and working our way to 1. Number 8, Hyoko. What a little piggy monster. Hyoko is a nasty swinelet wrapped in a kimono who even starts to smell like Barnyard after the only person willing to help her with her clothes gets their head caved in. After getting her bachelor's degree and being a cunt, Hyoko went on to become an irredeemable megaphone of mean girl cliches. The mastery with which she repelled everyone around her was matched only by the grace she exhibited in getting her throat slit and being taped to a pillar. She died scared and alone, with no one to offer any sincere condolences beyond what societal etiquette demands. Needless to say, she ain't waifu material, although that one headline picture of her older self was nice, and maybe she'd grow out of her snuff ways, but also keep in mind almost everyone in here is a remnant of despair, so I don't think it worked out that great. Number 7, Mikon. It's so close between Hyoko and Mikon. I find them nearly equally just all-encompassingly repugnant. Mikon takes low self-esteem, my least favorite human quality, and jacks it up to 7-Eleven, apologizing for talking out of turn every two minutes when nobody gives a shit. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, because the more you constantly berate your own importance, the more the rest of us lower your importance in our eyes, not to mention the fact that your voice could turn cheese into thin flakes with how grating it is. I actually fully understand how you became the ultimate nurse, because everyone you meet unsuccessfully tries to kill themselves and you end up nursing them back to health. What a racket. Number 6, Mahiru. Mahiru is like if Misty from Pokemon wasn't attractive enough to get away with her demanding attitude. If Mahiru had a bike, I'd steal it and never give it back after 23 years. Of all the women in Danganronpa 2, she gives off the least impression. All I know about her is that she likes to take pictures of people who are smiling despite the fact that they're hanging out with Mahiru. There's nothing wrong with her per se, but she's so exceedingly average that it's almost worse than having a standout negative trait. If Mahiru was my waifu, I feel like I I'd forget she was there a lot. Like, we'd be walking down the street and I'd constantly glance over to my right, like, why is this stranger consistently keeping pace with me? Number 5, Akane. There comes a time when you have to admit that someone is just too much woman for you to handle. Akane eats my body weight and food every day, and while she's the most sex-positive girl in the group, I'd be too scared of that. She'd be like, you wanna go at it? And I'd be like, sorry, I'm still on intermediate difficulty here. I'll go get Nekomaru. Number four, Ibuki. Ibuki was number two waifu throughout the whole game for me, up until she actually showed off her ultimate talent. She fucking sucks at music. She's the ultimate musician. Was that title given sarcastically? That's not okay. If I had to describe her sound, it would be like a guitar amp giving up. I love her attitude, her disposition, I enjoy her personality when it comes to everything except music, but music is where she lives, and as someone who also owns property there, there would be no escaping it. My ultimate Trigger Happy Havoc waifu turned out to be a dude, and that was only a little bit more of a letdown than Ibuki being rhythmically inept. Number 3, Sonya. I don't buy Sonya, you know what I mean? Was she selling? I ain't buying it. I don't buy that you're the princess of an unverifiable country where it's a royal custom to hollow out a mango and fart in it before you swallow it whole or whatever the fuck traditions you have down there. Novo Selic is literally named after the bassist for Nirvana. Maybe he can teach Ibuki how to play. You could make a full hashtag game on Twitter called hashtag other Novo Selic customs and the comedy fodder would be endless. Sonya might be wacky, but she doesn't offer much. It's occasionally charming when she incorrectly references pop culture, but for her to be your waifu means you're the new Novoselic prince, and I'd be terrified of all the things that could possibly entail. Number 2, Peiko. Finally, someone with real potential. You all saw what she would do for her master. Having a waifu that doubles as a servant slash bodyguard would be too good to be true. I'm not the kind of guy that gets all emasculated when a woman proves her capabilities. You can protect me all day, every day, girl, and in return I'll brighten your days with some funny jokes and Disney character impressions. I know what I'm good for. Peiko pretended to be a Spanish serial killer she didn't know was Spanish just to save her master the embarrassment of being associated with her, but like Fuyuhiko, I'm here to tell you, you could never shame me. We're equals, you and I. Actually, you're way better than me, but I'll keep that part to myself. Number one, Chiaki. I don't like falling into the obvious waifu trap, but I have little choice. 
Chiaki is the ultimate gamer. It's like Futaba in Persona 5. It's bait they know will catch you. You're playing the game, you're a gamer. You see Girl Gamer of sufficient attractiveness, you fall instantly in love with Girl Gamer, then Girl Gamer gets crushed by a giant Tetris piece, and though you know you should weep, you can't bring yourself to because you had unfortunately been spoiled of her death a short time before. It's so cute how Chiaki sleeps all the time. You wouldn't think drowsiness would be attractive, but then again, you're not me, or Bill Cosby. Chiaki is also the only only female in the game who wasn't previously a despair-ridden maniac, so that's a plus. Well, that's gonna do it for this ranking. I've got other waifu rankings and boss rankings you can check out, and for my best jokes, you can always queue up my Stream of Consciousness series. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.